whiskey lovers from around the world, welcome once more in my basement here in Belgium for another whiskey rambling. And today we will again have this little experiment, another head to head. With in the left side corner we have the Six Isles, which is a true reflection of the Isles, at least that's what the label says. Let's find out if that is true. In the right hand corner we have got the Black Bottle Heart of Isla, a blend containing malts from all the Isla distilleries bar one and, and a bit else, a, a bit other stuff in there. So let's find out if these are uh, uh, as good as they claim to be. They're very friendly priced, although they're not really in the same region now are they? We have here a blended malt that has whiskey from the Isles, so it's not really an Isla whiskey. While on the other hand Black Bottle does claim to be an introduction of Isla whiskey uh, because it contains whiskies from Isla and a little bit of grain. So they're not really in the same region, so, but still it is interesting to do a head-to-head -head with these. Let's start off with the Six Isles. Now the Six Isles, as the uh, label says, is a true reflection of the Isles, which means it's got whiskey in there, all of them single malts from the islands, and on the label it says it's got whiskey from Isla, Jura, Sky, Mull, Orkney and Aran. Now it's not hard to identify the single malts that were in this blended malt. Aran obviously must be Isle of Aran whiskey. Uh, Mull is Tobermory, so probably they put in the peated version of Tobermory, Lechik, in here. Then on Sky we only have Talisker at the moment. On Jura that's obviously Isle of Jura whiskey. That leaves only Orkney and Isla as mysteries. Uh, but when you read the back label carefully it does say at a certain point from Isla's smoky peatness to the soft heathery honey, uh, heather honeyed notes, excuse me, the heather honeyed notes of the Arcadian malt. Must be Highland Park. That leaves only the um, Isla malt to be something of a mystery and I have not been able to find out which one it is. If you know, please do let me know. In my opinion this could be, this could be Lefroy, this could be uh, Kalila, it could be any of the Isla malts uh, basically, uh, bar maybe the uh, Kilhoman which is only recently in operation. So that's the uh, the six blends, uh, the six <laughs> the six aisles. I'm sorry, and it is being um, marketed by Ian McLeod Distillers. That's number one. In the right hand corner, we've got the black bottle, and the tagline says "Heart of Isla." And indeed, all of the Isla Distilleries, bar Kilhoman again, uh, are represented here to form the the heart of Isla in this blend. Uh, this is a blended malt, meaning it contains only malt whiskies. This is a blend, it means this one also contains a little bit of grain whiskey in there. The, uh, the core is grain whiskey, but all the Isla malts are represented by Kilhoman, um, especially Bunahaven, I'm quite sure of that. Because Bunahaven and, and the Black Bottle were um, uh, owned by Edrington Group until April 2003, when Edrington sold the, uh, the Black Bottle uh, blend, as well as Bunahaven, uh, for £10 million to Burn Stewart Distillers. So, this is now part of Burn Stewart, who also own, of course, Bunahaven. You can see they have a di very different colour. The Six Isles is, is a pale straw, while on the other hand, the, uh, the Black Bottle is a light golden sheen on it. Uh, so there's a bit of a difference here in, in colour. But that doesn't have to mean anything, because on the back of this bottle it says mit Farbstoff. That's German to say this one is coloured. So the colour here is not a light golden, the colour here is E150A Spirit Caramel. But oh, what the hell. Almost 80% of all the whiskies that you can buy are uh, coloured with Spirit Caramel. So it's a cosmetic thing and some people say it has no influence on the taste and the nose. Some beg to differ, I'm one of them. But anyway, uh, it can't be helped, it is simply something the industry does uh, for consistency reasons. Now let's find out if these two uh, whiskies, very very accessible and very friendly priced whiskies, are worth your while. We'll start off with the nose of the uh, the Six Isle, the blended malt scotch whisky. Mm. The nose is peaty of course, but it's it's very soft, it's got a bit of a medicinal part in there. Some tar, some smoked bacon on the barbecue, but it is very, very, very soft and very much in the background. In the foreground we have the sweetness of citrus, some, some honey, some juniper berry in there, some vanilla, creamy butter. It's very soft and very accessible. Very easy drinking whiskey, I presume. There's some heather and some violets in there, but the key word for six aisles on the nose is soft. It's very soft. Let's see, black bottle. 
Oh. Oh, this is... I, I would have expected this to be peatier than a 6 size, but it isn't. It's not, not at all. It's a bit of a closed nose, actually. I'm going to give some hand warmth to this one. It's fresh and fruity, but the peat is very, very subdued, very much in the background, very discreet. Again, this is a little bit floral on, on lavender and some honey. It is clear that Buna, Buna Haven is the core malt in this one. Mm, a very light nose, both of them are very light. So they... Very accessible. But in round one, the nose, Six Isles is the winner. All right then, taste-wise. Mm. Mm. Ooh. It's oily. It coats the mouth, the tongue. Bit oily. Feisty. Some white pepper in there. Sweet beet. I can, I can... I can actually taste the Highland Park in here, so HP is key in this uh, in this is in this uh, blended malt. Some heather, some wine gums, citrus, toffee as well. A bit a bit of salt in there. I must say I like this. Mmm. The finish is not overly long. But it's not short either, it's medium in length, um, and it's a bit drying on, on, on ashes and spices. I must say, the, uh, the Six Isles is, is very nice, very nice. What about Black Bottle then? Mm. It's light, not really full body, there's not a lot of body there. But it's not watery either, so that's okay. Uh, there's a lot of honey, but there's also a lot of smoke here. Now the smoke is really coming through. Now I can sense more than on the nose, as this is the this is Isla. There's a lot of Isla in there, but I'm sure that there's quite a bit of grain in there as well, and and probably even some Deanston, uh, because Burn Stewart also owns Deanston. I'm I'm pretty sure there's a bit of Deanston here as well. But there's a lot of smoke, and it's like like. Like sausages on the barbecue wrapped in bacon, but but again very discreet and very soft, very accessible. It's not overly, it's not peed in your face, not at all, not at all. Mm. No, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. The the finish is warming, smoky, and again a salty death. Um, so it's comparable. In taste, uh, quality-wise, I mean they're they're pretty far apart taste-wise, um, but it's very very accessible and very very easy to drink. This is dangerously quaffable, actually. I, I'm sure if you put one of these on the table while playing a, a board game or cards or watching a movie or something, uh, by the end of the game, the bottle might, might just be empty, depending on how many people you are. But anyway, uh, on taste as well, I must say. Yeah. Mm. Just a minute. Nice. Very easy, very nice. Very soft and smooth. Mm. The Six Isles, compared to the Black Bottle, does have a broader palette. The, the range is, is broader. There's much more going on with the Six Isles. So, I have to say, on taste as well, points go to the Six Isles. Now, both of these are very friendly prices, as I've said before, so they're, I, I could easily recommend them both. Uh, they might be an introduction to whiskey in general. Or even an Isla whiskey in particular, or PT whiskey, because this this is PT. 
a little peaty. It's got lechic in there, a little highland bark. Obviously the Orkney peat is very different from the Isla peat. It's more, it's sweeter, it's more honeyed, it's more heather-like. Uh, a totally different kind of peat than, than we would use in Isla. But still it is a peated whiskey. Um, there's some talisker in there as well. So I must say if I, if I had to choose between these two, well, my preference goes to Six Isles. I think Six, six Isles is just a tad better than the, uh, the Black Bottle. Not much, but hey, there has to be a winner, and in this case, it's the Six Isles. So, that's it for this Whiskey Rambling. Hope you've enjoyed my little head-to-head -head of the, uh, the Six Isles and the Black Bottle. Until we meet again for another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings, until then, may the malt be with you. Bye-bye.